What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and good morning, Kalimera ja hyvää huomenta. Welcome back to Thessaloniki, Greece. We are at, well, I am actually at home at the moment. Hanna is getting her nails done, but soon she will join us and join you guys also. Uh, I'm at home with the kittens. I think Mustikki is around here somewhere also, probably sleeping. And uh, yeah, there is also a, a first glimpse to our, ho to our home. Um, this is not an Airbnb, this is not our own, we don't own this, we just rented this place for, a, for, a, for the next uh, year. This is it, pretty much everything there is. It's a small apartment, it's a little bit um, tight as you might say, like there is a, these uh, furnitures are not ours, they are the owner of the place, but as you can see, it's still got the bed, Mustikki is lying there. It's still got the bed, got the couch, got the TV, fridge. And pretty much that's it. Everything else in here, as you can see on here, the PC, my good old PS3, is also here because I've, I left the PS4 to, our, to Finland. Um, and there has been also kind of a time skip since the blast uh, video was filmed like two months ago. We first There was kind of a let's say we don't have the well I don't really had the motivation to do this video or write to a blog or anything else So I've been here working playing Demon Souls and Dark Souls and <laughs> That's pretty much it walking around the city of course seeing what is here What is there eating good food and stuff like that uh, today? We don't really have any plans uh, we are getting, well, Hanna is getting her nails done. She should be ready by about an, I don't know, hour or something, and then we will pick her up. Uh, he's in the, she's in the, the central of the city, which is like two kilometers from here. Um, and then we probably go and get something to eat, maybe grab some coffee or, or a toast or something. I don't know yet. But yeah, so far so good. Uh, we will tell you a little bit more about this time skip that we do, we have done pre before uh, this video, uh, like a, between this video and the, the previous one. We changed apartment like twice before we found this and then all of this paper stuff and uh, bureaucracy thing to get the rental apartment, to get the tax number, to get the residency in here and everything else. But we're not going there in this video because it takes so much time and it's quite it's it's a big big thing let's say say well yeah it's a big thing but also very complicated things and it kind of uh, it messes with your head when you're going here and there you know how it is if you have ever moved to another country but yeah of course if you are Greece you probably don't know how, the, how easy it is the, how difficult it is to get the tax number since you already have one but yeah ah okay do you want to say something on the video guess not how about you Guess not. So you're a silent type. All right. And also since two two out of three, let's also show Mustikki. How are you doing? Yeah. Now you're not talking at all. Like all basically every night, every evening, it's just constant screaming and like Speedy Gonzalez moment with the uh, ears turned in the back in the speed mode. But now they're chilly. Of course they are. Well, I would like to show you something, but I will shut the F down. Let's head outside. I'm not going to show you where our apartment is because it's not really, uh, you don't need to know that. So, and internet privacy is a good thing to have. So let's head outside. I think when I will go and pick up Hanne, I will probably show you around a little bit on the area. Since now I'm much more familiar moving around here than I was in the previous one previous video but I will show you around how our yard actually is it's quite as you can see it look it looks like quite nice there's a huge uh, vineyard whatever this one is when we first we first move in it was like here but now after after uh, one and a half months it has quite grown a little bit this video is not really of course it's about us but also about Greece, so let's head outside. Right. 
it. So now I'm heading straight in the central of the city where Hanne is getting her nails done. Uh, I think I also gonna go to the barber shop or like a haircut shop to buy some uh, gel for my hair because uh, because I'm, uh, I'm trying this curly girl method because as you can see I have very curly hair so I think I'm gonna and at first I think I'm gonna starting to like this I'm 30, 36 year old almost and I have always hated the hair but now I'm just actually trying to make them a, like a healthy good looking thick hair so I can make actually grow like these uh, 80s style rocker style hair like James Hetfield had when he was uh, on the <laughs> And the, and the 80s and also all the other leather, leather pants rockers also but yeah this is not that kind of a vlog I'm not telling you about the beauty thing is because as you can see I'm not the most beautiful guy but ever, ever anyway uh, central of the city and the ocean is right above here uh, um, sorry not above here but right this way like I don't know maybe two kilometers that way and uh, there's also this huge uh, like a very big and lots of big brands like uh, clothing shops and also sports stores and uh, basically anything you would need if you want to go shopping except for me because I don't really like the clothing shopping stores I like to shop in uh, electronic stores and uh, video game stores and things like that but there isn't any on the central area or if there is I have no I am not aware of them there is also a lots of uh, like an ancient like not, not Asian but like a, like a thrift, thrift thrift stores hard hard word to pronounce and also the like a places that are selling used uh, DVDs CDs records like a music records uh, Greeks really live like the older older like a record thing is I think you guys uh, like you guys like the the huge record players you mean you mean the old ones and the, and uh, also the CDs there's also v VHS cassettes if it's even a word in English you like the old cassettes that do you play the tapes that you put on a record player to watch movies and then you have to rewind it after the movie is over but yeah there's lots of those in here uh, since it's actually Saturday and it's almost 11 a.m. They are not open yet, so I cannot show you anything But I don't know if you're gonna actually show them on this video But maybe on the some point because it's really awkward to walk with the camera on the store and talk That's why we don't really like to show the supermarket prices at this point. Maybe later. Yeah, let's go and pick up Han There's also this thing right here it's a metro station that should open at some point. <laughs> I don't know when, but it should open pro probably in a, f in a few months, but I don't really think so. But let's see. That, but that's the one, one metro station over there also. It's nice to have the metro station here because it, take, it makes moving around here much easier. Sure, we have a car, but finding a parking space is it really is a pain in the butt. This one over here is actually a very good like a food chain to buy plant-based uh, pastries and sandwiches. They're all I, they're not all vegan, but they're all vegetarian. So plant-based. I don't know how I don't remember what's the name of it, but there is two of them on the on the area. Okay, I am a bit early. Hanna isn't ready yet, so I think I'm just gonna wait here around. Uh, maybe take a small walk around the, under, around the block but yeah Hanna is in the Adeline getting her nails done and soon we will see we will see how does the nails actually looks like it's a bit dark in here I don't think she ever, she has ever done these uh, nail procedures before well not not something like she has she's doing at the moment that's for sure but I have no idea how, how those how those things work and how does they looks like, how much do they cost? I have no idea because I'm not the guy who may who makes nails and as you can see. <laughs> but yeah, this is not the real like uh, those vlogs that 
show you what to do in Greece. This is more like a video to show you how does the expat live in Greece, spending, spending his time. Well, not in Greece, but in Thessaloniki. In this video we are not going to the beach, because the beach is quite far. There is a few beaches like uh, in the distance of like 30 kilometers or something, but they're not so good. There is a uh, much better beaches in Halakidiki area, but it takes like over one hour to drive. It's like it's it's a bit far away, but still very nice beaches. We have been there for like I don't know five six times once a week. So yeah. For some reason, I thought that the nails would be done in an hour or maybe one and a half, but I guess not. <laughs> I'm just waiting here, sitting around, uh, enjoying uh, people watching, and it's, well, yeah, it has been a, a one hour, 40 minutes, so, yeah. I don't use, I have no idea how long usually these things, like, uh, takes time to make, but apparently I have also, I had also, I have no also idea uh, what kind of uh, nails would they look like when they're ready? So <laughs> I guess this might take a while, but yeah, I have time. And there she is after two hours. Yeah, two hours. Little bit, little oh bit bleeding, my God. but it's great. It's colorful. Oh my God. Oh my God. It looks nice. How much was it? 50 euros. 50? Yeah. Not 50. bad. Okay. Yeah, considering that they are like so highly detailed. Oh, and yeah. yeah. They are like really expensive in Finland. So. Yeah, especially here. Like, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Feel like a woman now. Yeah. yeah. So many people in here, but I chose the Kuru cheese pie and Anne chose. What did you buy? Mushroom pie, yeah. Some good looking bread also. But yeah, there are so many people and music is playing so I have to shut this down. Okay, so uh, I think this place is called Paradosiako. This is the place that I talked about previously when, we, when I walked past it. Um, uh, yeah. I got the uh, cheese pie that I'm trying to get out of this <laughs> this uh, bag, and I this is the mushroom mushroom pie. Yeah. Mushroom pie that Hanna got. Yeah. It's a bit uh, shadow in here, so I hope you can actually see something. But I'm trying to figure out how to take this away from the bag. It's like a um, I don't know if the right word is puff pastry or like this. It's a crunchy, crunchy pastry. Like filo pastry, I think. Yeah, you mm. There's a uh, cheese inside. Very good. Not, not too cheesy, but very nice. And that one also. Yeah, this is my life. That's a very good choice. Yeah. yeah, but the place is totally plant-based, like I mentioned before. Uh, not vegan, but plant-based. So, yeah, and we didn't buy coffee there because uh, there was too many people on the line and on the queue. Uh, we were gonna take that from somewhere else when we have eaten these. So, mm. very nice. How much was it? I think it's about four seventy. I think. Okay, not bad. Yeah. All right, we grabbed a coffee from the place called Father, and uh, which is also a it's also a record player store and record store. I think the guy is a mus musician, and he and I guess his daughter is keeping up the the cafeteria that sells also record players and records. And uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. And uh, yeah, not, not no, no, for you. yeah, 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 sir. And over here, behind these trees, one of the most famous landmarks here in Thessaloniki called White Tower. 
and uh, I think it. Yeah, I think it used to be wide at some point, and I also think, if I read correctly, it used to be a prison at some point. But now it's a huge landmark that you can also visit on top of it. We have never been inside. I don't think we ever will be, yeah. but <laughs> because we're not so interested about about these thingies. But yeah, previously I said that this isn't the video that shows you what to do in Thessaloniki, but. Yeah, that's one of the things people are actually doing doing there. There's also these uh, boats that you can take a cruise. There's two of them and they doesn't actually cost anything. You just have to buy a drink, which costs like 8 euros. And it, it includes the 30 minute ride with this ship. So, pretty affordable. And this place is also, well, not filled, but there is few of those um, people that are giving you free things. Of course they are not free, but they yeah, are kind of annoying, but still. I'm glad that there are only few of them. Really, I don't really like them, because they, are, they might be a bit, well not aggressive, but uh, like persuasive to you to take this and take that. It doesn't cost anything, and of course it does. Nothing is free in this world. I think this place would be a nice place to take some kind of a thumbnail, so... It's also nice that we haven't actually seen, well, a single Finnish people here. Yeah, uh, ex except, ex except uh, two, like, uh, internet friends that we met, but not any, not, we haven't seen any tourists or expats or anything. So, before, I don't, before that. Yeah, and I don't really think there is that much, that many. Of course, not in the central area. They are probably around the beach and the Halkidiki area, but in the central, I don't think there is that many. Yeah, well, there has been, because I've seen some videos from TikTok, I think, but... Ah, oh. so, we just, of course, there is Finnish people, obviously, of course, but we just haven't met any, or we just haven't seen them or heard them, so probably there is some someone right behind us but yeah what's the plan next there is one the cat park around there that we should probably see like yeah. uh, show you guys it's actually pretty nice yeah. it's free and easy to easy to enter but yeah maybe we should head there yeah. and we're back there was a bit of a time skip since Moped, uh, since it was so hot during the day, so we actually didn't visit uh, Cat Park. We will show you a bit later. It's called Pocket Park. So, yeah, it was so hot during the day, so we just head back home. Hanna took some small power nap, and uh, yeah, yeah, we're actually in this uh, place called. She's trying to read the uh, place as place from the receipt. And the place is called... Okay, so we don't actually know what's the place of it, what's the name of it, but... Nice place, cozy, not too expensive, not the best place in Thessaloniki that we have found. It's so annoying to film a video. It's actually not a pickup. This is pickup. To pick up. Yeah, to pick up. Okay, so the bar name is to pick up. So, yeah, it's actually uh, not the best bar in Thessaloniki. We have found uh, much better places, but one is closed and the other one is that we have visited. Too many times. Not much to say or do at the moment, so we'll just drink these and then we'll be on our way to, to another place. Good drinks, and I feel a bit tipsy, but uh, a little bit, but yeah. Yeah, and uh, I think they are actually made this cat like cup. I don't, I don't like, like morning people or mornings yeah. or people. Yeah. Uh, just a quick note there is this, well, there was this restaurant called Busaka, which is totally vegan. A uh, place that there was an older guy selling moussakas and Greek salad, but if you if you know what has happened, please tell us. Because for some reason, 
it just closed down. Yeah. No idea what has happened. There is. Did the, you, did you retire or did something happen or did it just did yeah. like close down because it was like amazing. It was yeah. amazing. The guy was amazing. Yeah, there was some older guy, maybe in the 70s? 60s, 70s. 60s, yeah. 70s or something. And very nice guy, very friendly guy. Mm. Amazing. Ama Musaka. Amazing Musaka. And then when we just uh, like arrived there one point, it was closed down. No idea what has happened. So please, if you know something, let us know because it's kind of sad that he closed down. Of course, I understand if something happened or he re he's retired or something, but yeah. yeah, it was amazing place. It was like he was so friendly and so like smiley all the time. When yeah. He just got there, and he just like basically when you just entered the place, you just he just made made your day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, as you can see from here there is a colorful community of cats cohabiting peacefully with this on in the park respect the neighborhood and basically it's just it's just it's just yeah. a door that you can open and then head inside and there are lots and lots of cats in this so area so many cute cats <laughs> so many cute cats graffitis art people are bringing food and uh, and shelter, yeah. water for the cats. We're just here for the cats. Hi. Sorry. There are lots and lots of them. And then there is actually a few people. I think they are drinking or something over there, but we're not gonna bother them. Hi. You have a nice mask. Yes. Yeah, this is actually a quite nice um, I think also like a friendly and calm, peaceful neighborhood and the area especially because as you can see there's buildings behind us that you can come here, feed the cats, hang around, just respect the environment and the neighborhood. But actually this is also the first time that there is actually people, more people than just us. They are so friendly. <laughs> yeah. You found a friend? Yeah, I found a friend. Yeah. Mm. You're so cute. <laughs> you girls want to say hello? Yeah, this one is friendly. Yeah. <laughs> and the orange one's more. Look at her. She doesn't even have a tail. Yeah, she's just coming kind of like. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the pocket park. Yeah. Park filled with cats. Well, not park, but yeah. Nice area to come around. And if you if you're a cat friendly person, you can just take uh, buy a few snacks. From there's a pet store around the corner called Musuda, and you can just buy from few snacks. Come here, feed them, and that's it. Um, yeah, nice place, definitely recommend you can also find a link in the description because it's quite hard to find if you don't know what to actually try to find out but the place is called pocket park so enter it on google and you will find it but yeah this is it i have an issue because i have too, too many cats and too wow. small amount of cats yeah only two arms and yeah. three cats to rub so <laughs> Now the scream is all. <laughs> yeah. All right. This was a pocket park, and to the next destination. There is also one hiding over here. Yeah. And a quick note, as you can see, this is created by Alexandros Vulu, I think, neighborhood initiative and friends of our neighborhood. A self-managed social space, social space operating with weekly open assemblies. So people doesn't get paid for taking care of the place. It's just their hobby and lifestyle. So that's why support them if you can. I think we also at some point we have to bring some cat food or something in here because yeah, why not? There cat. are so many cats in the desert, like so. Yeah, cat food is quite also pretty cheap in here. And like I mentioned, around the corner there is a place called Musuda, which is an excellent place, so that's why. Okay, 
change of plans. Previously we mentioned that we should eat at home tonight, yeah. uh, eat, in, eat some tortillas or something, but actually we decided that since we are doing a vlog and since we, it's uh, Saturday, we are actually... Day, my day off. And day off also, we're actually going to eat outside. Yeah. So we are heading to a place called Kurmbeti, which is a Greek like this tower, tavern, tavern I guess. There. Yeah, but they also sell lots of vegan dishes, so that's why we are heading to central of the city, over there and on the right. All right, we got the first uh, dishes. Uh, sorry, I'm <laughs> I'm wearing a hat because it's quite windy and my hair is here and here and there. But yeah, we ordered the Greek salad. Greek salad, and which is called ah uh, horiata bola, I think. Exactly. Horiata. Horiata Bola. And uh, Dolma, which is like a wine leaf. Wine, 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 wine leaf. Yeah, wine leaves uh, wrapped. There is inside of it, there is a... Uh, rice and like something, yeah. Yeah, rice. Herbs, herbs. I think rice and herbs. Yeah. And then uh, with that, there is also uh, tzatziki. There is also one guy on the internet that's, that says that this is called uh, Tise Tisei Guy. It is so delicious with Tizei Tizaikai. It's not. <laughs> I, don't, I have no I'm, idea. I, I'm not getting like, some kind of like yeah, I, or yeah, I don't even know how someone can pronounce tzatziki as Tizei Tizaikai. It's just a meme on the internet, on the TikTok. I, yeah. hope, I hope it's a, it's a joke. Yeah, but yeah. We are, uh, yeah, we are using it sometimes as a, as a joke also, but yeah, it's, it's a joke. Uh, this is a tzatziki, which is basically like a, I think it's a Greek yogurt, yogurt and with uh, cucumber and um, some herbs like yeah, deal, deal, deal or, or deals or depending of the like area, yeah. I think. And uh, also quite a little bit of lemon. Yeah. And in here, uh, tomato, onion, feta, uh, vegan feta, and uh, olives and cucumber. Yeah. And I think that's pretty much it. Also, white wine, water, and we are still waiting for two, three dishes. Two. two yeah. My my main dish and her... Um, yeah. Vegan kofta. Yeah, vegan kofta. Italiano kofta. 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 Yeah, kofta. Which is, Italiano. yeah, which is like vegan, vegan meatballs with uh, tomato sauce. Yeah. We will see it a bit later, yeah. And also, it comes with the bread. Yeah. Uh, it, with the extra cost of one euro, so, yeah. so not bad. Yeah, but yeah, let's let's dig in. I think I'll have a gra grab a bite here on this uh, feta. Maybe I'll put, maybe I'll grab something else too. Maybe yeah. tomato, onion, feta. That's it. That's it. Mm. It's really fresh. I don't know if they actually make it. I don't. I don't think so that they make the feta themselves. But it's very good. Like very good. Mm. Let's try this. Yeah. Lots of olive oil too. Yeah. But yeah. that's still like really fresh. Yeah. Even though it has lot, lots of oil. No. Yeah. Some tzatziki. Dip it in. Mm. Focus. Yeah. So good. It's really good. And tzatziki is so good also. Yeah. This is like really good restaurant, so highly recommend it. Mm. It's not fully vegan. In the, in the, they, have, they have like a vegan list separately. But yeah. So something for everyone. Yeah. So if you are a meat eater, but you have a vegan friend, mm. you can come here and you can both eat. Very good dish. No. It's getting rainy. Let's see if we actually have to move inside. I don't think so, since there is a roof above, above us, but yeah. Let's see if you are, you are gonna get wet, but you only Yeah, I, I might get wet, but... Yeah. Let's see. Okay, our rest of the dishes are here. So this is the Italian vegan. Yeah, kofta kofta Italian. Italia. Yeah. yeah, which is basically like a... Like I said, vegan meatballs in a tomato sauce with some yeah. with some bread. Basil, yeah. Yeah. And basil also meat, looks yeah. extremely good. Mm, and then non-vegan thingy for me, pork chops. Uh, I 
think that's it. Yeah. Pork, pork chops with with some. I think there was there was some like a honey covered pork chops actually. Taste some before I actually eat them. Mm. Dolma with the tzatziki. Mm, it's really good. It's very good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try. Actually, I, if I can somehow cut this, I think I need a knife. It's hard to do it by one hand. Maybe I can help with maybe that you, one. Maybe you should feel them a little bit. Let's see. I cut this pork, honey covered pork, and let's see how it is. eat meat that often but when I do it's very good also the bread in here is very good uh, I would say that this is basic probably one of the best uh, vegan friendly restaurants here in Thessaloniki like, and they actually have really, really good service also yeah definitely a very good place but yeah now it's time to focus on eating not so much on shooting a video so see you a bit later yeah. I think you should also make this like this whole thingy that you put some of the bread on, then some uh, meat, onion with some herbs, like this, and then you pour some lemon on it. Now it's like a beautiful cake that you stuff it right into your mouth. Mm. So good with all the flavors and uh, it's so juicy and flavorful. So, oh yeah, and some wine on the go. So good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, food so delicious as you probably knew at this point. The whole thing with the wine and. Um, bread, those uh, dishes, everything else. Uh, the total price was 36, uh, 37 euros. Yeah. So, not, not bad. bad for two people. Yeah, not bad. Uh, it started raining, so there really isn't much to see or do at the moment. We don't really want to hang out in the bars or yeah because I'm feeling uh, quite tipsy <laughs> also at the moment. So we're just heading back to our home, yeah. hang around a bit, feed our cats and probably head back, head to bed. So I think this is pretty much for today. This is not the end of this video. So we will continue a bit probably tomorrow. So you can actually see a new day coming up. So yeah. if not, if not, then not, but yeah. But yeah. Sure, see. Yeah. So, good night and see you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye.